Guys, Taz here from OG Gaming, and today we're going to be talking about something new that I found. Uh, I, I found on the GTA forums and on Twitter and stuff like that. Made by Yan2295, who uh, I almost want to call him a good friend of mine, even though I don't obviously don't know him personally. But he's a really reputable leaker and kind of, you know, you know, he goes in the code, sees what's going to come in the next couple of updates for GTA. And then also on his website, which is just yan2295.com, he posts some articles about some stuff that he kind of thinks about, like, is the casino ever going to open? How much did the updates change uh, the overall game? And his newest one, which was posted just a couple of days ago, uh, GTA 6, what do we know so far? Now, I was actually reading this last night, and this really got me thinking, because there's some really <coughs> interesting stuff on here. And, uh, I, I've been really just thinking about GTA 6 for the last couple of months in particular. Uh, just because, uh, GTA is, we're approaching its three-year anniversary. So, I definitely thought that we should cover something like this. So, like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of go over a little bit of what he says in his article. And then I'm gonna talk about some of my speculation as well. But without further ado, let's jump right into Yan's article. So, first of all... He says, let's just call it GTA 6 for now, and obviously it's still far away, but I think it's good to start making some speculations based on what we already know, because yes, we have some clues about different aspects of the game. <clears throat> so, here we go. The location. Now, of course, this is one of the most important things in GTA, and it's interesting to know that the location uh, is always the first thing to be decided during development, uh, as L Leslie Benzie says. Because it really defines all the missions, because uh, things are going to be different, whether they're in L.A., New York, Miami, San Francisco, whatever. The missions are going to be different, because each city has a different feel. And the map and story kind of get intertwined and work together. <coughs> but Sorry for my coughing. But what about GTA 6? We can already eliminate Los Santos and Liberty City, because they were both used recently. Which is kind of disappointing, because I really like Liberty City, and so much has changed in about the eight years since GTA 4, technology-wise, so I think that it would be amazing to see, like, a remastered uh, Liberty City, but I agree that has been used recently, so I think, I'm pretty sure we can rule that out. Several players are hoping for a return of Vice City, and that seems, you know, a lot of people think that, because if you look in the game, there's a lot of clues, there's a uh, hint towards Vice City, there's a lot of towels on the beach to say, I heart Vice City, people say, you know, if you ask, if you shoot somebody, someone will say like, "Oh, screw this! I'm moving them back to Vice City." Uh, and you can actually find in Michael's house some plane tickets to Vice City. But the only problem with that is, uh, G is that Vice City isn't much about the time period as the place. And revisiting the city in another time period would be really strange. But they also seem interested in maybe giving it a second life. Uh, as Leslie Benzie says, it's always a possibility to, to revisit Vice City, and there are a few references to the city in the current gen GTA, so it's clear that it is actually part of the HD universe, and it's certainly somewhere that uh, we would love to revisit. However, perhaps more than any other GTA game, it was much more about the era as a setting, since Miami in the 1980s is so iconic, it feels so strange to revisit the city in the current day time period. And he's really right about that. Now, the thing about a game like San Andreas, that took place in the 1990s. And that was LA, that was San Francisco, and that was Las Vegas. And those kind of feel more or less the same in the 1990s as they do in, you know, the 2000 teens. Uh, but the only problem with Miami is stuff changed Miami so much from the 1980s with all the drug lords and all kinds of stuff to right now it's been a little bit more cleaned up uh so yeah it, it would be very strange to revisit uh miami in a time period that's not 1980s especially since that's kind of burned in all of our minds because you know we all played that game and it was really amazing uh but los venturas and san fierro also appear frequently in the wishes of players Las Venturas is generally associated with casinos and money, which would more than likely be the theme of a game, but this theme was actually used in GTA V, uh, which reduces the chances of Las Venturas for GTA VI. But with San, Fi 
San Fierro, the city is a little more neutral, which kind of imposes no theme. Uh, and the city would be used in GTA San Andreas, released in 2004, but it was a pretty small city compared to the other two. Uh, and a map including San Fierro and its surroundings would probably have much to offer in terms of new places to explore. And I think it would be really cool that if in GTA 6, if they took a city like, let's say, San Fierro, and they included the same things from GTA 5, like obviously not, not uh, Los Santos, but let's say that they included like Blaine County, exactly the same as it is in GTA 5. I think that'd be pretty neat. Uh, and here's a little, you know, kind of mock up. Uh, another interesting possibility would be a new snowy place. Take, for instance, Chicago, Detroit, even an environment we know. North Yankton State was used in GTA 5, and this, the and the latter, which is North Yankton, is expired, inspired by North Dakota. It would not be surprising to see a new, a new partly snow-covered map, as it was the case in Red Dead Redemption, where the region, being farther north, north was covered in snow. Now, Mexico would actually be a pretty good candidate for GTA 6, with its many inhabitants, its corrupt politicians, and different neighborhoods. Although this city is not part of the United States, it's safe that Rockstar could still use this region, but Leslie Benzies and the Hauser brothers have both pointed out that they kind of want to stay in the U.S., at least for the time being. Although this might seem to go against logic, a small town might be the star of the next GTA, with a high level of atmosphere and more endearing characters than ever. The opportunity to enter practically every building and an unprecedented level of realism, this small town could surprise the players. Well, why not a GTA in Europe? Simply because for many people, including Dan and Sam Hauser, co-founders of Rockstar Games, GTA has a place in America. And here's what he said, and it's kind of a long quote, but just to sum it up, the whole point of GTA is the American dream. And it's been that way since... Uh, you know, really the beginning, uh, just starting even with, uh, with G especially GTA 4 and GTA 5, I can say the American dream has been a really big key role in these two stories, because with GTA 4, you have the immigrant coming from, you know, from the old country, he's coming to start a new life in Liberty City, and but then he gets into some crime, and then eventually he retires, but in GTA 5, you have Michael kind of living the American dream, uh, and he's been that way for a long time, and then he kind of, you know, becomes a mentor to Franklin, and, you know, he and Trevor get back together from their old bank robbing days. Uh, and then in the older ones, it was a lot more about gangs and stuff, but, uh, and there, but that was a lot more American, too, because there were a lot of higher class American dream people, and then the gangs kind of trying to take them down. Now, some rumors suggest that the next GTA could unfold into a map representing a large part of the United States, or at least bringing together the past GTA cities have emerged some time ago. Although these rumors are not necessarily relevant to GTA 6, it is definitely indeed something that Rockstar would like to try in the future, as Leslie Benzies unveiled in an interview in 2012. He says, quote, Of course, at some point we would like to have one big world containing all of our cities and let the player fly between them, and revisit their favorite areas, end quote. All right, now kind of to put my opinions on this section about where I want the next GTA to be. Like, first, I mean, obviously, I would love to see it in London. I mean, you guys know why, but, like, that's not going to happen. They've even said that they want to keep it in the U.S., like I already me just mentioned. Uh, Miami, I always kind of thought of that as a possibility, because in all the GTAs, there's always a hint to where the next one's gonna be, and Vice City is sprinkled all over GTA, but at the same time, so is Liberty City, and I haven't really seen Zero, San Fierro, or Lost Venturas, so that might mean that they're not actually part of the HD universe anymore, so, who knows about that? Uh... So, my, but Miami, like the time period thing, I'm not entirely sure. But this is the one I think is the most plausible. This one right here that I'm looking at. Is because a lot of games are doing this. Most in particular, the crew. Because, you know, there's a giant area. Like, you can't fly planes or anything in that game. You can just drive cars. But it's so much fun just to drive across the country. It's super cool. 
And the fact that this was an interview in 2012 before the crew actually came out and before GTA 5 came out, that's pretty, that might actually be a decent possibility because I'm guessing, well, obviously, I, I'm pretty sure it's safe to say GTA 6 is well into development because it's been three years since the game came out. And most companies start development of their next game the day their first game, or that game, releases, if that makes sense. So, I'm pretty sure everyone at Rockstar knows where the next GTA is going to be. And this was actually before GTA 5 came out, because it was 2012. So, I think it's actually possible that this could be uh, their next game. Uh, but I don't know. Like I said, I don't want to spend too much time on all the sections. Uh, but I do want to say uh, something maybe in a way of Detroit or Chicago or another snowy city. Like I'm trying to think, maybe like Seattle, Philadelphia, uh, Boston, Pittsburgh. Uh, I don't know. All kinds of different cities dotted through the U.S. I think would be pretty cool. Uh, just because those are more snowy cities and. Actually, I think Boston and Seattle are the only... Is Boston... Yeah, Boston's on the uh, ocean. Because I've noticed that all GTA maps are cities, like, on the coast. You have New York. Uh, you have, obviously, LA. And you have Miami. Now, I know that uh, Las Vegas isn't on the coast. But it's kind of all California and Nevada. So, San Fierro and... Los Santos are on the coast. But anyway, let's just move along swiftly to the era. Only two out of five GTAs, excluding the stories games, took place in a time other than the present. And the past helps to tell historical events of the selected place, such as Vice City, as well as LA, uh, so Miami and LA. But they also limit developers at some points, because it would be strange to go back in time where a place where internet and mobile phones don't exist because they're so well established in GTA. And the past is also less attractive to the present, uh, but as for the future, it goes without saying that a futuristic GTA is not likely to happen. Uh, it is without a doubt that we can say GTA 6 is almost probably pretty certain to take place in the present, and I agree. The protagonist and protagonist, sa. So with GTA 5, Rockstar has tried something new with multiple protagonists that you can switch between, and there's three, three of them. And in GTA 4, there are actually three protagonists, but they're in three separate games. So you couldn't really just switch directly in between them. Uh, but will that return in GTA 6? Several players have criticized that despite having three players rather than one, the main plot of GTA 5 was not longer. And indeed, with 16, only 69 main missions, it has been the shortest GTA yet. Although the player had less time to familiar their familiarize themselves with each character, to not end up with the same problem, Rockstar would therefore have the choice between several protagonists again, by having to create more missions, or simply create a single protagonist. Even the popularity of GTA Online, it's safe to bet that Rockstar ha wants to spend less time working out the story mode, which would strengthen the single protagonist theory. Uh, and people, and this is all about... Uh, a female protagonist, and according to the FBI's data, major crimes are mostly committed by men. And actually, Rockstar has come out and said that uh, the concept of being masculine was too key to this story. Uh, but you never know. A lot of female protagonists have done really well since Tomb Raider. So, it's, it definitely is possible. Will, re will we see the return of a first-person view? Now, I don't know about you guys, but I actually use first-person view, especially sometimes when making, like, some cinematic videos and stuff. Because, and sometimes while flying planes, it's pretty fun to be in first-person, especially a jet. Uh, but when asked in a Q&A article, somebody said, Are you only doing first-person games now? I always love Rockstar games, partly because they're third-person games. And they said, Absolutely not. We're excited by the response to our first attempt but remain committed to third-person games and may or or may not use first-person as a camera option in the future. We do like to, whenever possible, give players the option so they can play a game the way they like. Now, obviously, first-person came out in December of 2014. 
by then they're already working obviously on GTA 6 that's almost 2015 they're already working on GTA 6 so I'm pretty sure they know if they're gonna be using it in GTA 6 or not and they said you know we're not we're not only making first-person games but we do like to give the option so I definitely think it's likely that it'll come back as an option although you won't have to use it if you don't want to the multiplayer the multiplayer with the phenomenal success of GTA online we can definitely expect a multiplayer mode established on the same basis uh, and GTA online has contributed to basically I say about 95% of the success of GTA 5 and take two because the story mode is I, I love the story mode for GTA okay it was fun but they're not gonna make money off of it unless they make a bunch of paid story mode DLCs which they didn't now online when they make everything real expensive and they crank up the price make you you know pump out those shark cars then yeah that's how you're that's how they're actually gonna get a ton of money and it's made this game one of the top grossing games of all time which I think with all the money they made from GTA 5 they're gonna use that money in some pretty awesome ways for DLCs for GTA 5 and of course for GTA 6 so also it's I def obviously multiplayer is gonna make a return in GTA 6 because you know it was so incredible but they're gonna but this is really their first ever attempt and I'm actually gonna make a video on the history of uh, multiplayer in the GTA series but I can say right now this is really their first open world like full crazy thing and I definitely think that it was really good but there are definitely some things that were lacking like, such as the loading times the servers the backups and all that kind of stuff uh, will it be possible to transfer my current GTA Online character? Well, the answer is probably no, and for two simple reasons. First, starting the game and already having a high-level character kills any form of progression. Players may spend much less time on the game if they, if they already have everything in their fingertips. Second, a character transfer to the GTA 6's multiplayer would mean that the presence of modded accounts would still be a problem. By starting over, this problem is completely eliminated. Now, I definitely think Rockstar would be doing the right thing there. But the only problem is I've spent a lot of money on shark cards in GTA. And if you think about it, this money is just not going anywhere. Because, you know, three years from now, whatever, I'm going to be having a new game. And, you know, I'll have to be buying money all over again. The platforms will undoubtedly be PS4 and Xbox One. Uh, and they're probably going to be at 60 frames per second instead of 30. Uh, but they might even be on 4K, especially with the PS Neo, PS4 Neo and the Xbox One Project Scorpio. It's definitely possible, and it's pretty likely that it'll be come out on PC. Uh, because, it, uh, But the only thing is that it'll probably be coming out a little bit later, uh, just like it really has done for all the other GTA games. They release it. And a year, probably about a year down the line, they released the PC version because actually the PC sales are actually less than the console sales. Now, here's the question everyone wants to, wants to have answered. When will the game be released? When can we expect an announcement for GTA? Well, according to their habits, at least one non-GTA game should be announced and released before hearing about the next GTA. The announcement and release of this game should not be as far away with GTA 5, where nearly two years elapsed between. Of course, GTA 5 has been postponed a few months, which would not be surprising for GTA 6. So, we can probably expect an announcement around, on or around 2018 or 2019 for a release about one year later. Now, here's what I want to say about when I think GTA 6 is going to come out. Well, first of all, I want to say, it might not be GTA 6. It might be GTA Online 2.0, he used to say. We already have gotten a non-GTA game, and that's Red Dead Redemption Remastered. Because Rockstar undoubtedly spent a lot of time on that, because the game looks beautiful. Now, are they going to announce uh, Red Dead, you know, a Red Dead 3 in the next couple months? I doubt it. I think they're going to let the success of Red Dead 2... Uh, you know, remastered right off a little bit, 
and really focus on GTA 5 DLCs. And then, I actually say we're going to probably get an announcement, quite honestly, by the end of 2016. And I know that seems really crazy, but let me just say this. The first ever trailer for GTA 5 came out like three years before the game came out. Like 2010. And that's two years after GTA 4 came out. And Rockstar actually came out and said that the, that the time between GTA 4 and GTA 5 was an anomaly. And it should never take that long to get a new game. And that took about 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3. That took about 6 years. And we're about three years in right now. And it was about... It was two years in when we got our first trailer for GTA 5. But the only problem now is that GTA has so much longevity. It's still so successful because there's the multiplayer aspect. If it was just story mode, we would have gotten GTA 6 like a year ago. But I personally think we're going to probably get an announcement uh, by the end of 2016, if not the first half of the year of 2017, with a release... Uh, probably a couple years later, uh, not one year later, just based on their habits, and that's probably going to be a release in around 2018, 2019, something like that. Now, obviously, the consequences of Leslie Benzies' dismissal. You know it, Leslie Benzies was fired from Rockstar North, and he's no longer been there since 2014, and this is undoubtedly going to have some sort of impact on GTA 6. Uh, because we even saw a difference in DLCs between when he was here and when he got dismissed in 2014. Now, he's really been the only guy that's been here from the beginning to the end. And uh, they actually canceled the GTA 5 story mode DLC after he left. So basically, after the departure of Leslie, GTA 5 single player has just been abandoned. Uh, we really haven't gotten, we haven't gotten any new features in story mode. Uh, all the new DLC cars you can't get in story mode, uh, which is kind of, you know, a little iffy, if you ask me. Uh, based on these facts, it's questionable whether the next GTA 6 will be more focused on the multiplayer. A very worrying situation for longtime fans of the GTA series, because I have been a longtime fan of the GTA series. And I have to say, GTA Online is great, because it's really like their first good multiplayer. San Andreas multiplayer, I don't even know if you guys remember that. It was not good. So buggy. Uh, GTA 4 multiplayer was not good. It was There are aspects of it that were really good, but not that good. I'm actually going to make a whole video on this. Uh, now, like, here's the thing. Will GTA 6 be more focused on multiplayer and not single player? Well, that's a really good question because the the single single player is such a key part of the GTA series because the whole point, like I said, is about that American dream and the fact that you have to you know work your way up to the top. You gotta get get all that money. You gotta do all kinds of stuff. And the good thing about uh, single player, sorry, is that they can get away with a lot more. Now, obviously, in a game like San Andreas, they have the casinos, and you could get all kinds of money. And that won't work for online, because I want you to buy stuff. But if you want to make a ton of money in single player, that's easy, and you totally can. And that's fun. So, I don't know. It's a little... It's, it's a little iffy, if you ask me. But anyway, this has been my thoughts on GTA 6. Again, um, his website is yan2295.com. And I just want to give a shout out to Yan because he is absolutely a beast. Uh, and yeah, so thank you. And yeah, don't I'm not claiming these as my own speculation and ideas. Obviously, I'm adding some along to it, but this is all Yan's webpage. So go check him out. Follow him on Twitter. Uh, subscribe to him on YouTube. And yeah, be sure to check out his website. With that all, with all that out of the way, sorry, it's early in the morning. I'm kind of like talking all funny. But thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video coming on my channel in a couple of days. Bye.